Hi, in this video we are going to take a look at how to export your audio in Mono in Audacity so that your audio is audible in both of your ears. So uh, right now I on purpose recorded in stereo and um, the easiest way to make sure that you always export in Mono no matter what even if you have a stereo track like that is go to file, export, and if you choose an mp3 file format, there's always an option to click this box, force export to mono. And no matter what kind of recording you have, it would um, mix both of your tracks, so this one and this one, into a single track that would be audible in both of your ears. But if you fail to click this one, then it would come out as a stereo track. But if you go and export in WAV file format, which is of a higher quality, and usually I prefer it to MP3, you don't have that option. You don't have that box to click. So uh, right now I would export my audio as a stereo one, and my audio would only be audible in one ear because of that. So there's a ways you can deal with this. And one of the ways is by clicking right here and going and splitting your stereo track into two different tracks. But as you can see, there's two options that kind of seems that they do the same thing. So uh, you can always split your stereo track into two separate tracks. You can delete this one. And this seems like it's a mono track. But if I was to export this as a WAV file format, it would actually be a stereo track and my audio would only be audible on the left side, only in one ear. And that's the main difference between these two options, between the split stereo track and split stereo to mono. Because if I chose split stereo to mono, I deleted this one and now I exported this track as a WAV file format, it would be a mono track audible in both of my ears. So that would fix the problem. Just there's this caveat where you always have to choose split stereo to mono to make sure you don't fail this part. The other way you can go about it is what if you just record in mono? There's always an option like that. You record in mono, you export this track, uh, unless you choose if, if you go and choose WAV file format, it would come out as a single mono track audible in both of your ears. If you choose this box, it would come out as a mono track as well. Even if you chose stereo options right here, it would still, it, it would come out as a stereo track, but it would be audible in both of your ears. The problem with a recording in mono in Audacity, and it's kind of a weird thing. If you look at the recording level, my audio never goes above minus six decibels. Even if I clap, usually that would bring uh, audio clipping distortion, but it doesn't because Audacity, for some reason, when recording in mono, uh, has this hard limiter that doesn't allow you to go above minus six decibels. And I don't like it. Like that's why usually, even in the way like right now, uh, I have my microphone set up. Is I'm using an audio interface with two inputs, and I only have microphone in the first input. The second input is empty. But I'm still, I still prefer recording in stereo because that way I can go above minus six decibels. For some reason. In mono, it doesn't allow that. In stereo, it does. And usually, I record it like this, and then I just go and make sure I choose this option. I delete the redundant track, and then I can export in mono. So, yeah, there's some nuances in Audacity. And now, the last interesting thing is what if you're recording a podcast? and you actually have two microphones. So you have one microphone and uh, maybe it's you speaking into the first microphone and then 
this would be the second this an empty line would be your second microphone and maybe it's a, your guess speaking into that microphone so you don't want to get rid of this track you want both of your tracks what you can always do is go to tracks uh, mix and choose mix stereo down to mono and then it would combine both of your tracks into one single mono track and no matter how you export it it would come out as a mono track well if you exported it as an mp3 stereo track it would come out stereo track but it at least would be audible in both of your ears um, so that's basically it just one tip before you do this mixing into mono track thing make sure you edit your audio before that because it's going to be much easier to clean up your audio when you have two separate tracks from from different microphones and then you can mix it down to a single mono track it will be much easier process <laughs>